I'm Matthias. In this video, I will show you my very first game that I ever made in programming. The language I was using was processing, which makes it very easy to have something visual to look at instead of um, when you create a project in, in Java, you it's often just text-based. Um, I know there are some some frameworks and stuff that can make it visual for you easier. Um, but this uh, software processing makes it really easy to create um, a lot of visual arts in no time. Um, so if you're just starting out by programming, I would definitely recommend you go check processing out. It makes it a lot more fun and you can see what you're doing visually um, very sooner um, when comparing it comparing it to uh, to Java. All right, so let's get to it. As I told you, it was the very first game that I ever made. So if the uh, <laughs> if the code is not like super optimized, yeah, bear, bear with me. I've only been programmed for been programming for like two or three months um, when I made this program. So. Yeah, okay, but I'll show you what it's all about. If you want to look at the code, I can post it on um, GitHub. Actually, it's, it's already on GitHub, so you can actually go check it out there and download it for yourself if you want to play around with it. Um, but I'll just go through it very quick and tell like what's happening. Um, so in processing, you have a setup. Um, where you have some uh, text and you load in the images that you're going to use if you want to use images. I used images for this uh, for this game. Um, and then there are some uh, small some options here. If you uh, press, uh, if the game screen is zero, start game and yeah, all that. I will not go dive too deeply into it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll just scroll through so you can see it for yourself if you want. Um, and the dot that that's basically you. Um, yeah, and we have the game, uh, which is where a lot of the code is. Um, yeah, we have some play alive. Um, so this game is basically two players running away from the coronavirus. <laughs> Uh, originally, it was just uh, two dots running away from enemies, which were just um, red um, squares. But I made it a little bit uh, <laughs> more fun by um, by adding some pictures to it. So it's actually our two teachers running away from the coronavirus. I thought that was pretty funny, but you you can see that in a minute. Um, <laughs> Okay, so basically there is, um, there is, um, yeah, I will just run the game and, and show you actually. All right, so this is what the, uh, when it starts out, what it says, it's, you have the player one controls and the player two controls and you can go change that if you want. Um, and you click the mouse to start and then the game just starts. So we will try that. So there you go. Um, okay, right now I'm I'm only one person, so uh, <laughs> so it's uh, a little bit difficult to uh, to um, maneuver around the field here. But uh, yep, all right. So basically, you have um, ten lives, um, and uh, for each um, these random coronaviruses um, hunt. It to hunt the uh, hunt the players, and uh, they don't hunt them uh, one hundred percent of the time, but they uh, haunt them. I thought it, I think it was like ninety five percent of the time or something like that. So you have a chance to get away from the coronavirus, but it's um, it's kind of difficult, uh, but it's not impossible. Um, so yeah, that's basically the game. When you press uh, the mouse once again, you'll Come back to the to the home screen and uh, try it again. Oh, it's very difficult to um, 
to maneuver around with the uh, yeah two players like it's it's impossible so you should definitely play this game with your friend or whatever um yeah and this time our teacher um Torbjorn wins <laughs> <laughs> all right so um yep that is actually the game um here you can see the code um for oh that's actually update food is there even food in the game i'm not really sure i mean when we uh when i handed it over to my teacher there was food but i'm actually not sure if there is any food oh there is food oh my god uh as you can see the food is also trying to run away the food is the corona vaccine <laughs> right here so Okay, it's a little bit uh, bugged out, I can tell, um, because it uh, starts uh, at the bottom. Um, the coronavirus vaccine, that's not very, uh, very good. But yeah, as I told you, it was my first program, so it was, it's, it's not perfect, but uh, it's fun. And you can make these kind of games very quickly in processing. Uh, in Java, this would be very complex uh, to make. Um, I mean, for me it would, maybe for, for other people's it will be um, very easy, but for me it was very hard, difficult. Um, so definitely if you're just starting out programming, I would recommend uh, you to, um, to watch um, some processing videos. There is a guy called The Coding Train, which I have learned a lot from. He's very good at, um, like he's just entertaining and he is um he's a very funny guy um so he makes it interesting to uh to to learn coding and he have a lot of uh different ideas and games and stuff like that that you can make um so definitely go check out the coding train if you want some processing tutorials which are made entertaining and fun um yeah, and guys, please let me know if you want to um, if you want to have the source code for this because then I can just link my GitHub and you can go check it out for yourself. Um, all right, so I think that was it. Um, if you liked the video, um, please let me know and uh, tell me what I should do in my future videos. If you have something you don't understand or if you want a um, walkthrough of this uh, processing game, I can show you. But as I said, the, the code is, is probably not perfect, but I can, I can uh, show you around and um, yeah, tell you my thought process if that is something you would like. But uh, until then, see you next time.